Hello and welcome, my name's Chris and this is Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order Part 8 on PlayStation 4. Hope you enjoy this video, let's get started. Um, yeah, so we just finished Zepho. I'm not going to customize the lightsaber yet. Um, so this episode we're going to be on a mission. There's a long journey ahead of us. These ancient tombs didn't survive all this time because they were easy to find. It's a challenge I'm willing to take. I can see that. I'm glad you believe in what we're trying to accomplish. I always have. Ever since I was a youngling, I trusted in the Force. Those names on the list, they're a test. And I believe I will succeed. I like your confidence. A journey like this one can challenge you in ways you've never been before. I understand. I think I'm ready. We've got your back, Cal. Yeah, you and me, we're unstoppable together. The homeworld of the Zepho. Cordova must have spent a lot of time here. Cordova spent his life studying the history of the galaxy in many different places. Dragged me along on a few expeditions. It was educational. You really believed in the past? He believed in the future. But you can't have a future without the past. Um, okay, so we're still on Zepho. We are going to... Let's have a look at the holo table. Cordova had supplies hidden all over Bagano. Could be worth a trip back to explore. All right, so it tells you just on the planet site. So we've got 22 out of 43 chests, five out of 14 secrets, and 53% explored. Wow, so there's going to be loads more to, to get back into. Once we've unlocked everything, we'll be able to fully explore these places. Okay, so that's the next place we're going, Kashyyyk. However, we're not going there just yet. We are going to go here. Setting course for Dath. Wait a minute. You want to go to Dathomir? I'm surprised Cordova went there. You must have had good reason. I am staying put on the Manus once we arrive. Red sunlight cannot be good for your skin. This place used to be home to a powerful cabal of Force wielders known as the Night Sisters. They use the Force? What, like Jedi? No. These witches served only themselves. Their powers focused on deception, illusion, manipulation. <laughs> Sounds like someone I used to know. During the Clone Wars, the Night Sisters made a deal with a Sith Lord who betrayed their trust. In the end, they were nearly wiped out in a massacre. Dathomir is a deadly place. We should be careful. Don't have to tell me twice. Ah, coming up on our creepy destination. Grab some. The Night Sisters. Uh, Night Sisters Dathomir. Night Sisters of Dathomir were a coven of powerful force sensitive sensitives skilled in the use of magic. Uh, an expression of the force unknown to Jedi or Sith. They previously ruled, ruled Dathomir. Night Sisters society was strictly matriarchal with a cove coven answering to a mother who also ruled the lower knight brother class. Their civilization was destroyed at the behest of a vengeful Count Dooku after Asajj Ventress and her sisters attempted to assassinate him. See, kid. Cal, be careful here. 
This is a deadly, dangerous place. Hold that thought. Um, okay. I think we weren't standing there. What is that thing? Wouldn't count on him being friendly. Hey now. What is it? I need one. seems abandoned. But... You trespass, Jedi. You must be a knight sister. I had heard you were all dead. Not all. Dothamir is forbidden to you. Leave at once. Well, I'm afraid I can't do that, but perhaps we could help each other. You see, I... Easy. I'm not your enemy. Your actions say otherwise. Wait, hold on. I'm not here to...
Defend it! Come, brothers, join me! Hurry! He has this! Fellow wanderer. I see you met the resident knight, sister, but uh, unlike most, you're alive. <laughs> well, lightsaber, no, no, don't hide it. That would explain your survival. Who are you? you no, no, no one to fear. No. Just a traveler, studying the nature of extinct cultures and dead philosophies. You study the night sisters? I study many things. But yes, that night sister. Well, she was only a child when the war came to this world. She had to watch her whole family perish. What do you know about those ruins? Well, uh, ancient beyond belief. The night sister and her warrior kin seduced by the power that lurks within. Avoid the ruin. Or suffer the same thing. Strangers. After landing on Darth Amir, Cal and BD-1 faced off against the Night Sister, who demanded they leave the planet immediately. When they refused, she commanded Night Brothers to attack them. Shortly after escaping that threat, Cal and BD-1 came upon a wanderer who claimed to be studying Zephyr ruins. Who he is and what's become of the Night Sister remains to be seen. Um, so I think we go down this way. Nidax. Yeah, it wets my appetite. Their skin is too thick to chew. Double-bladed lightsaber. The double-bladed lightsaber excels at crowd control. Use the force attack to overwhelm and clear large groups. Continue blocking efforts after successfully reflecting a blaster bolt to reflect additional bolts back at your enemies. How are you feeling, BD-1? Good. I'm glad. How do I get back? So we start off here. Um. Just want to go home. Um, the question is, can we get back? Hey, BD1. Oh, 
okay. Alright. <laughs> it's just the other direction. That one. The outsider. Move in closer. Shakes in fear. <clears throat> he fears us. Uh, a night, a night sister. The night sister survived the great massacre. She was alone, afraid her sister were gone. Her sisters were gone. Brothers, attack! You need to access this. I slay them easily. There we go. Thanks. <laughs> What is it? A new emitter acquired. Over here. <laughs> um, okay, so we just wanted to get that. So now we've got double lightsaber. So you're gonna want the single one for just one on one. Uh, increased damage and then a double saber for faster attacks to clear air uh, yeah clear crowds a lot quicker finally glad you made it back in one piece there were some close calls out there please tell me nothing followed you home kid I hope not. And now we can... Need anything, Kreese? Oh yeah, sure. I'm really in the mood for a slow and painful death. You think you could find that sort of thing on this death planet? Or maybe just bring me back something that will haunt me for the rest of my dreadful life! Any of that work, you weirdo? Okay, so we can go to the next planet now. I just wanted to get that. Just because. What's our next destination? Our next destination is here. Kashek. Grease, have you ever thought of redecorating? The Mantis? Why would I? It wouldn't hurt to throw some art on the walls. Something new to look at. Since when do you care about art? I've always liked it. When I was younger, I used to pour through every piece I could find at the Jedi Archives. Did you critique them too? I admired them. When I became a seeker, I got to see a few in person. So many different cultures in the galaxy, and each one had their own unique works of art. It was breathtaking. 
Time to land. Get up here. Tell me we're not running that blockade. Oh, only as a last resort. I've rigged the Mantis's transponder to transmit Imperial signals. Hey, Grease. Yeah? Keep your power signature low and act like we belong. Just like Bracca. No sweat. I don't need another set of hands. Just please keep your eye on the scanner. All please. Right. All right. All right. I don't see anything. Preoccupied with something on the ground. We're clear. That doesn't look good. The Empire is devouring Kashyyyk for its natural resources. Monkeys have been enslaved or displaced. Oh, that was a close one, kid. Aren't you supposed to be watching the monitors? Guerrilla fighters, Wookiees and off-worlders ambushing an Imperial convoy. Walkers approaching their position. Tarful could be with him. Tarful could be anywhere, like deep in the ground, like we're gonna be if we get caught up in that battle down there. We don't have any other options, and, and we'll die without our help. So what's your plan? Sabotage. We use the scrap walkers on Bracca. I'll just jack one. <laughs> get a load of the kid. He thinks we're back in the Clone Wars. Captain, <laughs> get us near those walkers. Wait, what? Listen, those walkers double as troop transport, so once you get inside, be careful. I have no freeze grease to work as magic. Hey, do me a favor. Stay alive down there. I'll add it to the plan. Right if you're jumping, you better do it now, kid. You ready for a swim, BD? <laughs> Ready to do this? <sighs> Wonder how we get inside. Yeah, I'll try the lake. Okay, now we're... to the top.
turn to report fatalities. This is L-97240 reporting in. We've got confirmed casualties. It's the Jedi! Let's keep up! Keep slipping away! Wipe us out! Stay down! Hey, BD-1! Well, that works a lot better to get through their defences. Um, let's go this way. Reading a new ship on scanners. They brought more firepower than we thought. How's our hull looking? Badly damaged. We're at 70% integrity and falling. That should still be enough to stop out these insurgents. Keep... Huh? <laughs> <laughs> It actually worked. Okay, uh, throttle. Report, what's happening over there? You're oh in violation God. of Imperial Can you shut that guy up? Stand down or we won't hit. <laughs> Let's do this. That's a lot of lasers. So that fires the cannons. Let's move forward. Someone who just brought an ad out to the table. Who are you? Someone making the Empire angry. <laughs> We're venturing on the imp landing pad up ahead. With my advice support. Copy that. Let's make him even angrier. We got the bridge. Got to take them out. They just keep coming. for us. Can you do anything? Hold on! Brace yourself, BD! I'm okay. You all right? No, we are not doing that again. You just wrecked a perfectly good walker. Got a name? Cal Kestis. Saw Guerrero. What are you doing on Kashyyyk? Looking for somebody. What are you doing here? My companions and I came to Kashyyyk to disrupt Imperial supply lines. Hey!
So, who are you looking for? A Wookiee chieftain named Tarful. Tarful is impossible to find. There's a reason he's evaded the Empire for this long. He's a freedom fighter? He's THE freedom fighter. A symbol of the Wookiee resistance. Striking at the Empire from the Shadowlands. Huh. Seer, Grease, this is Saul. How you doing? What do you want with Tarful? Jedi business. The Jedi are dead. Not all of them. <clears throat> you get that off a corpse? My master gave it to me. This pad supports an Imperial refinery that runs on Wookiee slave labor. Intel suggests that some of the captives there are guerrilla fighters. I should help them. One of them might know how to contact Tarful. It's possible. Whoa, wait a minute, hold on, wait a minute. The Manus works wonders. I mean, it's a great ship, excellent pilot, but it is not built for close support. We'll stay here and monitor Imperial transmissions. With a bit of luck, we'll intercept any distress calls. Appreciate it. My lieutenants and I will scout ahead to prepare the attack. Join us when you're ready. Go, go! Multiple entries, chapter three. I'm on my cuff then. Uh, a fateful meeting. While descended into Kashyyyk's atmosphere, the Mantis crew became embroiled in a skirmish between Imperial forces and freedom fighters. Believing Wookiee chieftain Tarful could be among them, Cal jumped ship and hijacked an ATAT, piloting it right into the infamous insurgent Saw Guerrero. Saw and his fighters were in the middle of a campaign to liberate a nearby. Roshir Sap Refinery, with the possibility that Tarful could be one of the Wookiees detained there. Cal and BD1 agreed to help him. Glad you're all right. Yeah, yeah, good to see you too. This place is a dump. Your plan worked. And now you want to follow Saul? What do you think of Saul's plan? He's fighting a losing battle. I doubt freedom for the Wookiees is his only goal. He seems trustworthy. He might prove to be. But there's more going on here than we know. And don't forget the Empire fights dirty. Watch your tail in that refinery, kid. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. Either you heard the Parsons? Rumors and cantinas, but not much to go on. They call them radicals. I heard the Empire's got bounties on their heads. Should I be worried about the bounties? Huh. I doubt it. War zones are bad for business. If the rumors are even true. Oh, all right, okay. She's in no condition to fight. Uh, You're right. There's no time. Stay strong until we get back. Heard Saw's hoping to find some news of Tarful at the refinery. A report came in this morning that he's been seen in the Shadowlands. What's wrong with this plan? We're finished. Mari's mapped out the nearest garrisons. The Empire won't have time to send reinforcements. We'll be okay. If we can do it quick. Hey, BD-1. Over here! Could be supplies inside this walk. Okay. Uh, okay, so this is where we just came in. There we go. Thanks. Did you find something, BD1? Uh, BD1 skin acquired. Nice. Oh, all right. 
right then. What is it? <laughs> right, far as poncho. Sure. So that's what we came in on. here than on Zepho. Did you say Zepho? I used to live there before the Empire came. Do you know it? Yeah, I've been. It's horrible what happened. We weren't able to fight back, but here, with the Wookiees, we have a chance. Thank you for standing with us. Mariana, a brave fighter, Mariana served saw Guerrero's forces on the besieged world of Kayshak. After losing her husband on Zepho, her journey takes her across the galaxy in her battle against the Empire. The Force showed me something on Zepho. Memories of someone named Ostar. My partner. He distracted the stormtroopers so I could escape with our daughter. He was always impulsive. Is he... Yeah. I found his body. Part of me wanted to believe he escaped. I'm so sorry. No. Don't be. I'm glad I know the truth. We can't allow the Empire to destroy more worlds. A gonk droid, Imperial Tech, EG-6 power droids, also known as gonk droids. Serve as portable power generators in mobile operations or in situations lacking a stable power source. They are utilized by civilian and military alike, often emitting a low honking noise that sounds like the word gonk. So I'm assuming that we get that ability later on. Surgeon activity weapon cache. These specialized Imperial flamethrowers have been modified to more effectively incinerate care Kashak wildlife. Just have a quick look down here. Saul should be at the other end of this trench. So we're fighting monkeys. No way across. Maybe something around here can help. Yeah, so we're clearly going to get that ability here. Look, a workbench. Why is Chuck? Why is Chuck? 
Attack from behind while creature is distracted by other prey. Uh, parrot's lunge attack to quickly strike it down. Y shocks are highly intelligent, multi legged predators. They are focused to be extremely aggressive to most sentinel life forms and known to cast an adhesive enzyme that incapacitates their prey in a web like stasis, allowing them to strike with their sharp and venomous fangs. Wisely outsmarting any foe, they often lower, quick, lower quickly from the forest canopies and or burrow to the surface from underground covers. cover. If possible, prey should avoid any web strike, but if caught, fight to escape before the white shark closes in. The host hostility may provide strategic opportunity for a surprise attack from behind. Although capable of quick maneuvering, they occasionally find themselves susceptible to strikes in the head or appendages. <sighs> How much current can you conduct? Well, with this transformer, I bet you can short circuit Imperial Tech. Overcharge. BD1 can now turn machinery on and off. Try it. the other way. Help me, B1. Uh, grateful. So just test and see if we could, uh... Need to overcharge this. Uh, go up that way, but it doesn't look like we can. And it doesn't look like we, we can jump over there either. So we maybe just have to get that later on. Once we get double jump, maybe. BD1.
over here. Imperial Sap Refinery lies dead ahead. What does the Empire want with tree sap? Nothing good. They refine the sap into a powerful compound, and they're rushing to expand production. We have to stop them. That's the plan. We don't know they're in game, but they spread themselves too thin. This map we've recovered proves it. <laughs> Refineries double as brutal prison camps. We use those cutters to create a distraction while you take your lightsaber and free the Wookiees inside. We need their help to stop the Empire. Understood. Watch yourself in there. You hear that? Said he needs my help. Come on, buddy. Dead trooper. I saw I got him. He's more ruthless than I realized. Yeah, so there's a new ability for dual bladed lightsabers. Um, looks like there's a new one over here for burst slow. That might have been on there before. I'm not too sure. But anyway, um, so yeah, we're gonna leave this episode here. Um, so yeah, we got a double bladed lightsaber, which is absolutely amazing, and it's pretty powerful as well at um, getting through enemies' guards, especially on the stormtroopers that we've tried anyway. Um. So yeah, thank you very much for joining me in this video. If you like any of this content, please hit that like and subscribe button, and don't forget to ring the notification bell. Hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next video.